Some people have been surprised to find out that those flex alerts include when you should charge electric vehicles. That raises the question, how can an already strained electrical grid support EV chargers as the state turns electric? The governor's office says that there are over 1.1 million EVs registered just in California. That's nearly 40% of all EVs in the country. California plans to require all new cars, trucks, SUVs to run on electricity or hydrogen by 2035 under a policy approved by regulators. Some researchers say that will require our infrastructure to expand. Grid's going to have to be quite a lot larger, maybe 20, 30 percent larger just to meet that extra demand. Infrastructure expansion and customer flexibility with charging time is one approach. We spoke with SMUD's chief strategy officer about another long-term solution, and he says that EV charging could become a give-and-take system. There's technology coming along that's going to help those customers to not just use energy from the electric system, but also be able to put some of that bat stored energy in their batteries back into the electric system. That's called vehicle-to-grid technology. And for now, industry leaders say battery-powered DC fast charging stations are the best bet because they don't pull from the grid. The California legislature has made it a goal to have 10,000 DC fast charging stations across the state by 2025.